Hey everybody, welcome back to the second video of positioning your pivot points on the pegs. So uh, right now the pivot information is nowhere to be found. The peg is, the peg pivot is still in the middle over here of our camera. So we are going to want to change that up a bit so that we can do uh, proper movements on all of our different pieces. Um, the little drawing indicators that I've set previously on the underlay of each layer uh, are still invisible. So uh, the reason for that is pretty simple. The pivot informations are under the other layers. So overlay, uh, line art, color art, and underlay. Underlay is located underneath all of those layers, therefore underneath every single one of those drawings. Um, so just to make sure that we can see those, I'm going to bring over an underlay layer filter and connect that above on another composite. So bringing that over here. So now my character has a bit of a chicken pox syndrome over here. We have our little indicators popping up all over on the different pieces that we had created. So everywhere that we've set this information. So now I can simply go back to my pegs grab my rotate tool from my advanced animation tools toolbar and I can go and position these directly on top of each little indicator. Now for some of these I don't necessarily want to go and position uh, each one one at a time. So some of these ha actually require to have the same pivot point. So for instance the forearm master and the forearm should both be located directly over this one here. So since both values are equal and set to zero, I can grab both at the same time and go and position these directly onto our indicator. This way, if I deactivate them and select them one at a time, it will both have exactly the same value. The only other way at the moment that you can copy the values over is by doing so manually from the layer properties by copying and pasting those values. So make sure that you take advantage of this method by really going to position uh, several ones that require the same pivot point at the same time. So same thing for the arm here and arm master. I'm going to go and position both of these at the same time directly on top of that indicator to go on the sleeve by itself and throw that on top of this one here and some of them don't necessarily require to have uh, pivot indicators for instance pegs that control multiple pieces at the same time so you can go and position it to about the position where it should be so this one is controlling both pieces of hair. I can go and make use of that. I'm just gonna bring those closer over here. Position the first one and the second one over here. And now all of these have their own pivot points and these are all values that are baked inside of the pivot information. Not a good idea to go and change those around once we start positioning our rig, so make sure that these are set in the right place. So you can go ahead and do all of that across the rest of the character in the different places where we have set our little pivot indicators. Now, of course, we don't want to see those after we've created uh, the pivots for all of our pegs. So we are going to go and get rid of this little underlay node here disconnect it, remove it, and if we want to make sure that we never see those pivot information, you can go one step further by selecting everything inside of your rig, pressing the button set properties on many layers, and turning off the underlay. So this way, anything that you draw inside of the underlay will never be visible so long as it remains turned off. So if we go and see what exactly is going on when we turn it off, basically inside of your layer properties, you will have under drawing this little box here checked off. 
So that's basically it for setting your pivots on your hierarchy. Make sure that you don't forget a single peg. You want to make sure that each one has its own peg information so that we can accommodate the different movements that will follow for our 360 rig.